Hey Pisces, how you doing? You're gonna be doing your reading here for the end of March. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, of course, keep in mind these are all general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone here. Interesting how that popped up here. Okay, so we're, we're gonna see what your reading's about. Um, let's see what we got going on for Pisces. Of course, take what resonates, leave the rest in the dust here. Okay, we have the world that comes out as your first card, a new cycle. Um, maybe starting for you here. Let's see here. We have the world, definitely a new cycle here. Page of Pentacles could be a new opportunity in finances, um, something to do with that. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. Could be a new offer coming in in general too. Could be relationship or career in that, okay? Uh, we do have the High Priestess. This is your energy, okay? Being very intuitive at the moment here. I feel like, you know, this new beginning here, this new start of something here, you kind of know what's coming towards you. You have this feeling or nudge or, uh, you know, maybe, maybe um, for some of you guys, you are dreaming this or have dreamt things. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you guys are dreaming stuff and you're starting to see that happen now, or you will. You're starting to see this stuff come in. Um, we do have these seven of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And then the Magician here at the bottom of the deck here. So let's get some clarifiers here um, on the world, this new beginning that you're trying to start here. And again, for some of you guys, this is financially something new, new opportunity, new business opportunity, something like that here. Let's see, what is the world all about here for Pisces? We do have the Hierophant, okay? Taurus energy. Um, but this is about long-term commitment here. This is about contracts. You know, for some of you guys, you also are someone that kind of guides and helps other people. Um, and I think with the high priestess and the hierophant here, it's like people come to you for advice, needing help on things. Okay. Uh, we do have the knight of wands that comes out as well. So this new journey, this new beginning here for you is a little bit more, I don't want to say, um, it's not player energy or anything like that. It's more of like a fun, adventurous type of energy. It's like you're trying not to take things so serious. You are looking for long term. You're looking for things that are stable, financially stable, things like that too. Uh, but you're also trying to have fun with it. You're not really trying to, um, you know, beat yourself to the ground and work hard at something. Even like you, you found a way with the high priestess to work hard but not kill yourself. That's really what it is. It's like that four hour workday type of deal um, where you work hard in the morning and, and you know you, you just kind of um, get right back into it uh, you know something like that it's just kind of like um, putting a lot of time and energy in the beginning of the day um, let's see the page of pentacles what is the page of pentacles all about we have the ace of wands here so like I said there is a new opportunity coming in which might be a new creative idea for you or just like the thing is it's like a feeling of you don't see it coming you know it's like this uh new beginning that's starting this new release of something maybe you're just kind of out there doing your thing um you might be just kind of enjoying the outdoors playing some trips and stuff like that and all of a sudden this new beginning comes in in terms of like an offer or a creative idea um maybe it's a business idea that comes towards you it's whatever it is I feel like it's going to be a long-term deal for you and maybe a lot of money here as well okay um, we do have the three of swords though that comes out so let's see you gotta see what that three of swords is all about here we do have strength leo energy here and then we have justice okay so it could be a separation um so there's new beginning here um, involves some sort of separation or maybe there's there's something that is being detached um, so it causes some sort of disappointment there's some sort of heartbreak but at the same time it's like also creates this new beginning for you at the same time so it's like an ending and a new beginning like right away um, so there's disappointment there's definitely heartbreak there's definitely things that are making you um, feel like you know you put a lot of time and energy into something that didn't work out but at the same time you get this new this new thing that comes in, you know, and that kind of propels you to move forward. And why I say that is because we have justice. Justice is about balancing out the situation here, you know. So um, let's see the high priestess here. 
And for some of you guys, it could be a court situation that's just being balanced out. So maybe it's, you know, separation in terms of a divorce or something like that. Um, but it, again, it, it, it's like something bad becomes good, you know, if that makes any sense. So let's see the high priestess. We have the king of pentacles, you know, so it's like it kind of propels you into some sort of like owner or a business thing. Um, you have Scorpio energy, death, there's endings and new beginnings. Like I said, then I just say like endings and, and starting something new, something ends and something starts new, death. Um, so that's kind of the energy here. It's like you you briefly feel sad about it and it could be con um, a, involving a marriage or something like that, which, because you have the higher font here, contracts, right? Um, let's see the, let me get two more cards on the king of pentacles, the four of pentacles, definitely pushing you towards finances, okay? Definitely pushing you towards finances. Pisces, energy, the hangman. You're looking at things at a different perspective now, you know? Um, so whatever this, this situation that comes up, whatever does, it's like a changing or shift in energy or something here closing out, starting something new, but it pushes you towards um, that something that you've been wanting here, you know? Fast changes as well. Um, Eight of Wands, this is something that changes fast for you. It's very you know, unexpected. Like I said, unexpected. What is the seven of wands? We have the five of wands. Definitely fighting, okay? There's there's uh, issues, gossip, family issues, friends, um, a lot of negativity here. Let's see why. Eight of wands, again, communication. You could be communicating with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because there's a lot of fire here, okay? Um, let me get one more card on that. And then you have the Emperor, Aries energy. So there could be some sort of conflict here with the fire sign. It uh, doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is argument, okay? This is something that maybe was very toxic to you, okay? So like I said, there's an energy here that's closing, or you are closing something out, starting something new, but then also there's some sort of anger. Or maybe there's a fire sign that's pissed off about it. Someone here is just kind of mad that th they see you moving to this new beginning. That's what it is. Okay. So somebody here, the Capricorn energy as well, but it's just toxicity. This is someone that is obsessing, um, pissed off, mad that you're moving forward into something better. And they see you closing out a situation. They think that you're going to be down and out, you know, like they think that you're not going to be able to kind of proceed into whatever you need to do. And then they see this offer, this new idea that you create and start something because the high priestess is there, king of pentacles, the hangman, looking at things in a different perspective. The four of pentacles is about, you know, really just concentrating on building this thing. And you kind of put your mind towards something else that makes you happy. And it pisses off somebody. Someone's kind of like, how did that happen? You know, I was, I was kind of hoping that Pisces would just kind of fall here. Uh, but they kind of see you coming up right away. There's like no downtime. Let me get three cards. The Five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So there is movement. Like I said, there's movement here. The Five of Cups is about like you looking at another opportunity, something else. So maybe, like I said, something doesn't work out for you. Um, and again, flip the energies if you need to, guys. Uh, but something doesn't work out and you look back and you're like, you know what? I got this opportunity. This is here for me. This is perfect timing. Whatever it is, I'm going to pursue it. And it ends up becoming something huge financially for you. Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new job, a new opportunity, a new business, but a lot of abundance in terms of finances coming for you. And the Knight of Pentacles is going to take time. This is something that you work hard at, um, something that you... Um, you, you don't rush into this. It's kind of like you, you start putting your time and energy into this and you start seeing large amount of money here for you. So I feel like it's a new business, maybe a new job opportunity that involves some traveling, whatever it is, it gets you off your mind, off this past person, this past situation, uh, could be a past job as well. And it takes you straight into a new job, but whatever it is, it just pisses off somebody. Like someone is not happy that you're moving forward. Um, but that's their, that's their um, you know, they have to realize what they've lost here because I don't feel like you've done anything to anybody. I feel like it's just that you, something didn't work out for you and I feel like someone tried to set you up or tried to get you um, down on purpose and I feel like they see you moving forward and they're pissed off about it. So that's really what it is. All right, guys. Um, so Pisces, that is your reading, end of March uh, energy here. Um, I will be coming out with the April reading, so if you have not subscribed already, please do so. Hit the bell so you can get that, uh, that uh, notification. 
and uh, be sure to hit the like if this if this resonated for you guys okay so uh once again thank you guys for the support and uh until next time we'll see you you guys have a good one